Singing off key is part of how Mark Gaetano makes a living as a content creator. Better known as Snarky Marky, the Canadian TikToker has an impressive 4.6 million followers. He's worried that will change if the U.S. bans TikTok. A large part of my audience, about 75% of it, is Americans. So in the event that TikTok does get banned, there goes three quarters of my audience. American lawmakers vote Wednesday on a bill demanding TikTok's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, sell the platform within five months or face restrictions amounting to a ban. The problem is not TikTok or the videos. The problem is the algorithm that powers it is controlled by a company in China that must do whatever the Chinese Communist Party tells them to do. And they accuse ByteDance of sharing data with China to spy on Americans, something TikTok denies. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us. We have not provided. You don't like the dance? Come on, do the cha-cha. TikTok is wildly popular in the U.S. with 170 million users. I understand how to get things done. Joe Biden's re-election campaign team recently opened an account, which is surprising since Biden backs a ban. Do you still support banning TikTok? Would you sign that bill? If they pass it, I'll sign it. This is becoming an election campaign issue, as Donald Trump says he's now against a ban, a flip-flop he shared during a phone interview with CNBC. But the thing I don't like is that without TikTok, you can make Facebook bigger. And I consider Facebook to be an enemy of the people. Trump's change in position comes at the same time that TikTok is ramping up its lobbying against the bill, working with influential conservatives, including Trump's former White House advisor and a Republican mega donor. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.